Hi Taurus, welcome in. Taurus, be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. We're going to start by pulling some general messages for the next seven days, and then we'll take a look at your love life. Okay, let's see. It says, be careful. The claw. We also have cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. Wow, okay. You have key successful outcomes to your problems. And then we have arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So Taurus, it feels like there may be um, some difficulties you're facing the next seven days. I feel like these difficulties come in the form of humans. Okay. It does seem like there may be some negative energies trying to get in the way of your success. It says be careful. I feel like this warning comes to you because you should not be engaging with these people if you intuitively know who they are. I feel like there are some people around you that want to steer you off path. You have this arrow here. It says you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. I feel like people can see that you're accomplishing things, Taurus. People can see that you're outgrowing your environment. And it does feel like they're going to want to kind of keep you stuck with the cobweb. But the thing is, is you're protected. You're, you're protected from these negative forces here. see we have the hermit in the sun you're definitely having an awakening here of some kind you're waking up to something you're taking bold action it's telling me or you will be taking bold action the next seven days. So I got to tell you, Taurus, it looks like you're accomplishing something big here. You're waking up. This could be you waking up to your potential. I feel like you're going to be very excited as far as obtaining some sort of wish. Okay. Now, there are forces around you that do not want you to manifest this. There are negative forces around you that do not want you to tend to your garden. They don't want you to water yourself. They don't want you to take care of yourself. They don't want you to be goal oriented because they're not goal oriented. And I feel like you may be waking up to who these people are this week. I feel like you may be starting to see that there are certain individuals that no longer serve you. Um, I feel like you're realizing that these people are getting in the way of your success. And you may be cutting some people out, Taurus, the next seven days. Or this could be advice to cut some people out. We got that sword energy. Okay, cut the dead weight off. Because it looks to me like you're you're taking notice of something. You're seeing something. Yeah, you're seeing the deception, seven of swords. Yeah, you're seeing how these people don't want you to move forward. I feel like you're seeing how energies are making something harder for you. Yeah, the devil. That's what I was feeling. It just it feels like negative forces that are wanting to take you off course, especially with that Knight of Wands. It's in and out energy, but I feel like these people are wanting to um, throw sticks in your way. Okay, like roadblocks here. We have this Two of Swords, Ten of, Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Devil. It's like force, the forces that are working against you are wanting you to have delay after delay.
So Taurus, stay committed to whatever this is. Yeah, you're manifesting something. You're about to receive some really great news. Just be cautious of who you're allowing into your creative space. Be cautious of who you're emotionally attaching yourself to. Um, because I do feel like there's going to be energies here that try to, like I said, create roadblocks for you. Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. So follow your passions and keep watering yourself. Keep nourishing yourself and keep growing whatever this is. Keep investing in whatever this is. Keep investing in yourself. And the deception that's coming towards you, you see it. And I feel like it's time to cut that out. I feel like you're understanding that these people are trying to stunt your growth. And it's time to, like, I just, I get people see you're outgrowing. Yeah, look at this. The world judgment card, five of pentacles. You're outgrowing your environment, the high priestess, ten of cups. And there may be some people that are threatened by that, Taurus, that you are growing and becoming better. All right, so let's see when it comes to love for Taurus. When it comes to love for Taurus, it says pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Let's see what that's about. Bottom of the deck, you have heart to heart conversations. We have the Six of Cups here. Taurus, you have somebody here from your past that you're not speaking with, okay? That's what's showing up in your reading. Yeah, the Two of Swords. You're at a stalemate with this individual. Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, you've been working on yourself throughout this silence, becoming better. Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles. I got to tell you, Taurus, it feels like you've had some sort of glow up here, okay? I feel like you're getting yourself together. And there's somebody here from your past that you've seen or you're recognizing a lot of red flags. And this person is a little, they're about to be confused by your energy. Yes, yeah, somebody that you've had an ending with, they're coming back to see how much you've changed. I feel like this person played a lot of mind games with you with that five of swords. Temperance. They're seeing how, how much you've developed in the future. Okay. They're going to see you as healed and balanced. And happy guys. So I just, I feel like there's an ex here that's witnessing you moving on and becoming happy and you becoming a better version of yourself without them. And that's going to confuse them. Some of you guys may have manifested this to happen. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, so a lot of you Taurans, you're manifesting somebody to come back and see your glow up. Okay, this is like you wishing for it. With the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Wands, you wish for somebody to come back and see your the highest you, the highest version of you, and that's what's happening. And they're going to be very confused 
and heartbroken with the three of swords. Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is communication. They're going to want to talk to you. Yep, Knight of Wands. So you just have uh, this ex or this past person that is uh, going to want to talk to you because you have glown up, okay? They recognize that you're standing in your power. You look great. You're accomplishing things, and this person is going to see you differently. They're going to see all the changes that you've made in your life, and... That's going to cause them to want to talk to you. Let's get you an angel number, Taurus. Your angel number is 23. The affirmation is, I am adventurous. It says, you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to its fullest. And I feel like you're going to see the number 23 the next seven days, but this is more so about you feeling alive, feeling adventurous, getting yourself back out there. I feel like there's a lot of excitement coming towards you, and this past person is going to want to be a part of that. This past person is going to want to also bring excitement into your life and you'll have the decision to make on whether or not you want to deal with them, right? Two of swords. You'll have a decision on whether or not you're going to welcome somebody back in. All right, Taurus, those are your messages. Bye.